Good evening guys, happy Wednesday to all of your sunshiny faces. So I think I mentioned to you guys in yesterday's vlog, um, I would not have a haul for today, um, and that I wouldn't, that I was going to tomorrow, um, but that actually changed. Me and my mom are going to go to Jewel on Friday, like, afternoon, and then, um, me and my dad are going to go to Tony's and Caputo's on Friday night evening, I think, and then we're going to go to wait no we're gonna go to Meyer Friday night and Aldi and then we're gonna go to Tony's and Caputo's on Sunday so everything's being a little bit changed up because um I told you guys how tonight my dad had that football open house thing and then tomorrow he has a doctor's appointment so um and then I honestly want to say it's something else going, kind of going on on Friday that we have to kind of be home earlier for <laughs> but um either way he does have a handful of things that are going on um like you know this week and so we have to kind of change things around and stuff like that so um anyways we're like I said everything will work out most likely it's just gonna have to work out at a different time so today though I did wind up staying on top of kind of all of my things I did dishes today I did laundry I ended up editing and uploading today um but guys the one thing I will say is that as far as new year's resolutions go I did kind of in the back of my mind make two for myself um but i told you guys how like my goal at least sort of i guess the resolution or kind of i, I don't like using that word really it's more just like kind of a, a big goal that i guess our family kind of set was to have our all of the bedroom situations and things like that moved around and i think we want to hopefully have it all done by the summertime um so again that would be the goal but um we you know have to <laughs> a lot of stuff get there first before that can happen and then after that I really want to I'm hoping to get maybe um because I'll be in a bigger room by that point too and also have a closet in my room um so and by that point I wanted to get like a couple of furniture things to better store some of my stuff so that it's not kind of all over the place and I don't know if you guys can see like back there I've got like books stacked up like I'm only reading one book right now but I'm like I really am starting to run out of room on my bookshelves for like books and things like that that like the books that I want to read I'm just leaving sit out it's like right next to my nightstand and like I just don't have like a good place for things to like keep and store them so yeah that's a little unfortunate <laughs> like I said I have to find room for some of those things that like I just don't entirely have room for in here and my thought kind of with one of the big things that I wanted to do was when we found those um shelves up in the attic I wanted to add a couple more shelves in here which I thought would give me some more space like bookshelf space kind of you know things like that because I also have to like um some of my video games that are up right next to my xbox I have a small little stack of them there and then because I ran out of room between the in my printer then on top of that I've got more just stacked up on top of those so it's like I've got way too much that like is just in here and needs to go into a place <laughs> and like you know so like I said I looked at a couple different things at Ikea and I actually um I don't think I told you guys about this though um I've been working on kind of the layout plan for my new room already as far as like what I want to get to fit where and everything like that and I actually kind of have a plan of um sort of how we ended up doing my mom's custom desk in her office I would like to do that in my bedroom my new bedroom because I found a couple of pieces from Ikea which actually are not super expensive that I can do fairly cheap like I actually think it's cheaper than what I ended up getting my current desk that I have for um and I can wind up doing it and have a lot more storage um and then too but like it doesn't have a hutch I'd have to like you know do like shelving units on the wall or whatever um in order to kind of have like a hutch over it as well um but I plan on doing that and so um but the, like the desk alone itself will be much bigger and I'll have much more storage if it all winds up sort of working out like I planned <laughs> um plus two because it's going to be a longer desk I can actually do storage underneath too like I was thinking like a rolling like they have those like rolling cart ones with like the the drawers in them I was thinking I could do that too so like I said I it could wind up turning into more money than like I was looking I originally got my desk that I have in here for um but if I do wind up moving to the other room I figured this when, when I was first looking at like where I was going to put everything in that room and there is really no good spot to wind up putting the desk that I currently have in there anyway because of the hutch now I 
think that you can turn it so like I'm facing the hutch right now I think that you can turn it to this wall like facing I'm, I'm facing this wall now um, because of the L shape that it is but because of that um, I like it it's got like um, like a uh, like desktop protector on the side that has the hutch so if I switched it to the other side it would be like running like underneath the hutch and I don't know it just seems like it, lo it would look weird but I think that you can turn it the other way the thing is though is that the side that the hutch is actually on is deeper this side is not as deep so like I don't know if I'd even like having it on this side because like you know then I just have like a lot of extra sort of space though on like the other side and so like I said I don't entirely know um what exactly I want to do with it but, um, you know, like I was saying, I might wind up just doing the custom desk because, it, and it's not custom, like built into the wall custom. It's just the pieces that I could buy to assemble it are. And I actually looked at a way to do that really cool. That's actually not one of the ways that's like Ikea recommended, but the pieces all go together. They're just from like the different like um, modular desks. But I was like, well, what are like, you know, the, the height on the desk and everything like that. And so long as I get the little like feet for it, I actually think everything will come within like a couple of like millimeters of being exactly perfect um that it actually should work so like I said I was looking at that plus too like I don't have an actual dresser in my bedroom I want to look at getting an, a dresser for my room um and like I said when I move rooms because I don't have enough room for that um and so like I said I was looking at a couple of different pieces from Ikea for that and so I was kind of laying my room out as far as what I was looking at for um like the new my new room and just like I said getting a couple of furniture pieces for that so, um, like, anyway, <laughs> I was doing that actually a handful of days ago, and I think I was going to tell you guys about it, and I just realized I never remember to tell you guys about it, but anyways, that is our big plan again is to get the rooms all moved around and everything like that all taken care of then after that uh, my goal would be to stay organized with all the stuff in my room and hopefully stay on top of things like so long as I don't have too much stuff that's not going to fit in my room like right now it's like I have too many things and I'm down to one of two things I have to declutter and get rid of a lot of my stuff or I have to again find out a, a creative place to store some of the things because like I said too like where else do I keep like my video games and like my DVDs and my computer games and stuff like that I was like well I could just do another shelf and you know put stuff up on the shelf and again that would wind up working but now that I'm like well we're going to be moving rooms maybe again you know again I would come up with a better plan for the new room um so like I said I just I have too much stuff in here right now that I can't like even to like my record player I'd love to be able to have my record player like out all the time like on a like surface but I don't have any, any room on my desk even like you know just not the amount of clutter that's on there too but just like it wouldn't I wouldn't have anywhere to like leave it permanently to be able to set it up and have it out all the time so again that's one of the reasons why like as long as I have enough room for everything and everything has a home I want to make sure that it stays in that home and that space that it belongs belongs to um so like I said my problem now is that there's too I have too much stuff and I don't have enough places to put it um so again what I was saying though my new year's resolution that was that's one of them kind of then the other one too was that I really wanted to stay on top of using my planner because I have not used it in several months now um like I honestly want to say like uh, the beginning of fall was like the last time I used it um so I have not been using my planner very much at all that was one thing that I really wanted to do I haven't done that um so and these weren't really like resolutions it was just kind of things that I was like let's just get back on that you know it's something that I wasn't doing so much the other thing too that I've actually stayed on top of though and again this wasn't something I was like this is going to be my new year's resolution but it was just kind of something that I was like let's just you know try and you know again see if we can get to this for like at least a couple days and you know again stay on top of things like with my planner the other one too was taking my vitamins every day um you guys obviously saw when I was getting those sales on vitamins at Meyer, and I ended up stocking up and got a couple more bottles of those that's one of the things where like I don't have enough room to like have extra bottles of like like vitamins because I have like a little box that I had like a couple of my extra bottles in but now like because I bought like another two bottles at Meyer, which don't expire for like over a year so <laughs> if I didn't wind up finishing them for like at least a couple months like I still have room I still have I can have them you know they won't go back 
bad but I don't have room to store them so I'm like I need to like eat my vitamins and <laughs> take my vitamins um you know my gummy ones too so um anyways I I was like I really need to stay on top of this because obviously if I'm buying them and I'm not taking them consistently then that's a problem because you know I'm gonna have way too many and soon I'm gonna have bottles and bottles of them and have no you know like not be actually taking them enough so I actually have done that I think every single day since the new year or at least very close to it like maybe even two since the start of like the December I think when I got that sale which was like the 28th or something like that was a couple days after Christmas I've actually taken my vitamins I think every single day and so again that was something that was before New Year's so I didn't even set that as like my resolution kind of thing but I did wind up actually doing I've been doing it every single day and have taken them every single day so I'm pretty proud of myself about that because that's something that like for a while I was really consistent like I might miss like one random day here or there or whatever like I have a little weekly um like you know organizer and I would put them in there and then I wind up being like oh I took them like two days this week and that was it <laughs> so um you know two or three days or something like that and I was like I'm not very consistent with this so I have though every single day I have been consistent about taking them um which is really good so um I guess that was kind of my other resolution that I actually have been sticking to and I didn't realize that I kind of made that but now that I have I'm like I'm gonna make that my new year's resolution and stick to it and do it every single day and again really stay on top of it and so far like I said now that I noticed that I actually did that like I said it's you know I have been doing it every single day for at least like probably close to two weeks now um and also too you know I've just been you know staying on top of it I was like you know what maybe I will just say that's my new year's resolution I'm gonna stick to it you know and see again how consistent I can be with it which would be really awesome so um like I said my my planner um kind of didn't pan out quite as well but I'm going to set it for next week um hopefully and again stay on top of that a little bit better but that would again be a, a good thing to um you know just like keep me sort of organized too in the things that I gotta get done every day but um anyways guys like I said it's funny when you kind of find those things that you're like oh I didn't even really know like you know and then just making it a resolution and then something too that's kind of like the front of your mind's like you know I have to you know take my vitamins every day I have to you know use my planner every single day even again too with like the vitamins I'm doing that any every day anyway but if I'm like I'm gonna make that my new year's resolution to kind of try and do that for the entire year and stay on top of it um you know you'll you'll be surprised that you actually might do it just because you were doing it not realizing it prior and then when you do and you're like I'm gonna make that my new year's resolution then you actually like that's why I was telling you guys too it's really bad to start a new year's resolution on new year's day it's smarter to like start it sometimes like a week or two ahead of time just because with all the holidays and stuff like that like new year's day is still a holiday and so if you're like your news resolution is to like go to the gym every single day like you know or you know go and work out or you know again organize use your planner you know clean whatever it's like it's a holiday you're sometimes still being a little lazy because you might have stayed up until midnight or later the night before you know like so getting your new year's resolution started on the first of the year is not always super like plausible for everybody so again starting it earlier or even to starting in a couple weeks late you're not a failure for starting your new year's resolution late it's just when it works into your schedule but try and do it as close to the beginning of the year as possible and then when your schedule starts to kind of you know calm down a little bit more after the holidays then you can kind of like then be consistent with it um and like I said too for me it was like the week before and then I stay consistent with it every single day and again too for some you know again for me now because like it's been difficult because like this is the first week Jack's been back at school Matthew's going back to school I think tomorrow um so like everybody's still here like I'm not really back into my swing of things kind of when everybody's gone at school and work and stuff like that and schedules have just been very conflicting too like there's been other things that have been going on and whatever and so um like I said like that might have been why I haven't been super good at using my planner when I wanted to um but again now that I'm like okay now that everybody else is kind of getting their things back in order I can get my things back in order and stick to my planner every day um you know like I said it might have to take until you know the same thing to like kids go back to school or you go back to work you know after again like the holidays and stuff like that um and then stick to it you know then be like okay on the you know again 
4th of the the you know 4th of January I'm gonna stick to my using my planner stick to doing this or whatever it doesn't have to be the first of the year and you don't have to feel like a failure for not starting it on the first of the year it's just again to like a again a resolution of something that you want to try and stick to um so again you can you can always start that afterwards and just you know from that day on stick to whatever it is that you plan on doing but um anyways guys i will see you all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's make sure you guys give a big old thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys